question 5 of this exercise says classify into monomials, binomials and trinomials. So first of all we will learn what are monomials, binomials and trinomials. So monomials are single terms. Binomials are those which are having two terms and trinomials are having three terms. So we will write the initial of monomial that is M, we will write the initial of binomial that is B and we will write the initial of trinomial that is T. So let's start with the first expression. So in the first expression it is given 4y minus 7z. As we can see that there are two different terms in it 4y and minus 7z. So that is basically a binomial. Now let's move on to the second part. Y square is given in it. So as we can see that there is only single term Y square. So that is a monomial. Now let's move on to the third part. So the expression that is given in the third part is X plus Y minus XY. So as we can see that there are three different terms in it. X, Y, and minus xy. So that is basically a trinomial. Now let's move on to the fourth part. The term that is given is 100. And as we can see there is only single term so it is a monomial. Now let's move on to the fifth part. The expression that is given is ab minus a and minus b. So as we can see that there are three different terms in it. ab minus a and minus b. So that is basically a trinomial. Now let's move on to the sixth part. So in the sixth part the expression that is given is 5 minus 3t. So as we can see that there are two terms in it. So it is basically a binomial. Now let's move on to the seventh part. In the seventh part the expression that is given is 4 p square q minus 4 p q square. So as we can see that there are two different terms in it. So that is basically a binomial. Now let's move on to the eighth part. So in the eighth part 7 mn is given. So as we can see that there is only single term in it that is 7 mn. So that is a monomial. Now let's move on to the ninth part. So in the ninth part the expression that is given is z square minus 3z plus 8. So as we can see that there are three different terms in it z square minus 3z and plus 8. So that is a trinomial. Now let's move on to the tenth part. The expression that is given in the tenth part is a square plus b square. So as we can see that there are two different terms a square and b square. So it is basically a binomial. Now let's move on to the 11th part. So the terms that are given are z square plus z. So as we can see that there are two terms again in this z square and z. So that is basically a binomial. Now let's move on to the last part that is 12th. Now the expression that is given in the 12th part is 1 plus x plus x square as we can see that there are three different terms in it 1 x and x square so that is basically a trinomial to learn more about how qmath can help you crack school and board exams explore qmath leap a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers